So after trying to find a bit of wood the other day, weekend task. Yes, we'll sort this lot out or at least start. Goodness me. Let's see it. There's so much stuff in here. Yeah, I definitely got to sort this out. You just can't see what we've got, can you? You nope. can't even get to the wood. And there's, there's all sorts of component parts up there. And these spider webs everywhere. I don't even like coming in here. God, webs everywhere. And why have we still got a cat box when we haven't got a cat? Hmm. Ugh. It's disgusting. Those. They're disassembled footstools or taller stools. We could do with some tall ones in the shop. Yeah, well, maybe. We sold all the tall ones. Well, now. I see that one there. Yeah. That's a tall one. Yeah. So maybe um, we'll start there. Natural wood as well rather than painted. Okay. Have you noticed the date that we bought this? No. Oh, I don't know whether I can see that, but it says the 2nd of the 3rd, 2004. Four. yeah. About time we did something with it. I think so. That is an Ernest Jimson Cass chair. And worth the time, so definitely. Well, okay. I don't think we'll ever run out of um, stool frames, Tim. No. Looking at this lot here. Bearing in mind, every single one of those bags is of rain. Oh well. We started the grand tidy up at about 11 o'clock this morning. It's now half past three. And look, shelving unit's gone. And you can actually see everything. I know what I've got now. More to the point, what I haven't got. I've got a lot of chairs. This is true. But hey, <laughs> I find stuff. Afternoon, everyone. A bit late today. Had to do some admin and stuff. So, starting off with this one. All that's dry now, all the tint. So, the first thing I've got to do, I've got to get this overspill of tint from around the edge here. So first off, I'm just going to take a lightly dampened cloth and I'm going to go all the way around and take the worst of it off. As you can see, there's a lot of it. So try not to touch the cane. Otherwise, I don't want to do it again and have to wait for it to dry. But you see, we get to this point where the majority is off. Yeah, there's not a lot left now. And when that's been done, I get some big towel, again lightly dampened. I just repeat the process and keep going until I'm happy that that is all off. And obviously, if you left it on there, and somebody sat on it with a slightly damp bottom then potentially it could come off on their clothes so you have to be sure you've got it off best that you can yeah now I'll leave that to dry for a few minutes and come back to it soon okay so it's dry now so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use this which is a light finishing oil and I'm going to coat the whole of the seat with this but I'm going to concentrate on the edges first to make sure that those pegs are well and truly sealed because obviously you don't want to miss any areas because again if we go back to the damp bottoms scenario then if they're not sealed properly then there's still the potential for the colour to come off if it gets damp so concentrating around the edges first like this so that all of that is 100% sealed. You can see it soaking in. Right, having done that, this is my preference. I go vertically across the seat, not putting too much oil on the brush, but making sure that it's going into the weave. 
And when I'm happy that that's all covered, I then go horizontally. Like that. Oh, what's going on out there? My goodness. I hope that's not uh, a bad accident for somebody. Right, and then I go diagonally. Right, I think that's covered it all. Then right at the very end, I just put a small amount on the brush and go over where potentially I may have left an odd little bit of pigment and I don't want anybody to pick that up on their clothes. So that is a very, very light coat there. And again, I'll take some kitchen towel and before it soaks in too much, I'll just wipe the excess off. And as you can see, nothing's coming off there to speak of, so that should do the job nicely. And again, we have to wait for it to dry.